just on this table I have 8 different types of OBD2 scanner so I understand that it is very hard to choose especially if you are picking your first one. So in this video we will go over all 8 of them. I will tell you what each of them can do, some pros and cons and hopefully it will help you decide which type do you need for your needs. And for this video I will assume you are familiar with OBD2 scanner functionality but if you don't understand these features of what OBD2 scanner can do, you can download my OBD2 buyer's guide which will explain all functions of OBD2 scanner and then also help you pick best type for you and it's free like you can download it in description. So I don't have to explain over and over in every video what those functions mean. Type number one is engine code reader. Very simple OBD2 scanner, it works only with engine control module. For demonstration this is engine control module, but in modern car you can have 20-30 modules like this. You have ABS module, radio module, transmission module, door module, there are dozens of module in newer cars. But engine code reader can connect only to engine module and use only global OBD functionality. So this global OBD functionality, it is important. This is reading and clearing faults from engine, disabling check engine light, reading engine life data and freeze frame data and checking readiness monitors or emission monitors. This is all it can do. And even when we get to advanced scanners, almost all of them have separate software to do just these global OBD features on every car. But engine code reader does only that. Then we have ELM327. You are definitely familiar with this one. Most popular scanner type between DIY mechanics because it is very cheap and you can get more functionality than code reader. So use it with your smartphone. That's why it is cheap because you just have to buy this box and then you can use it with literally hundreds of different OBD2 apps. But even though there are hundreds of apps to choose from, they are all pretty much the same and all of them will give you same functionality. First, global OBD, so everything that engine code reader can do. But since you are using smartphone, you can view more live data graphs, you can do data logging, you get some extra functionality for using smartphone. And then if you buy one of premium apps, you can even do full scan and do some ECU coding, so unlocking hidden features, even with chip adapter like this. But I don't recommend it, because app like that has very high subscription cost. For example, Carista app, it is $10 per month, or $50 if you pay for whole year. And once we get to more advanced tools, you will see that it is not worth to long term pay for such subscription. But it is possible even with cheap adapter like this. But if you don't pay for premium app, basically all you can do is same like with engine code reader. And then if you buy cheap adapter like this, you might have connection issues. Software may or may not work. With cheap adapter, you cannot count on it to work every time. Next we have multi-system or four system scanner. Often they are called four system because they work on very similar principle than engine code reader. But what engine code reader can do only for engine module, multi-system scanner can do for four systems. And that is not only engine but also transmission, ABS and airbag modules. And some of multi-system scanners actually go beyond that and supports even more modules but not all. So same like with code reader, you can read and clear faults in engine and read data. With scanner like this, you can do it for engine, but also for all that other modules as well. Next type is Bluetooth bidirectional adapter. And if it is getting too complicated and you need to see some examples, I have full buyer's guide for every type of scanner you can imagine in description. It is page on my website, you don't have to download anything. Just go over there and you can see examples for each type I am talking about. And Bluetooth bidirectional scanner, it is also meant to be used with your phone or tablet like ELM, but it comes with own software and that is more advanced software that can connect to every control module in car. So not only engine, not only four systems, every system, every control module you can connect to with adapter like this. And in every control module you will be able to read fault codes, clear them, read data and do bidirectional testing. So you can activate components like engine fan, fuel pump, door locks, windows, just with scanner with one click on your phone. And they also can do 
service procedures. This is stuff like forced DPF regeneration, oil reset, steering angle calibration, new throttle body adaptations. There are a lot of these service procedures and these Bluetooth bidirectional scanners or adapters usually supports anywhere between 5 and 20 service resets. Some of them are without subscription like this X tool. But if you want some extra functionality, for example ECU coding, unlocking hidden features, you will have to get Bluetooth bidirectional adapter that comes with subscription. In this case it is around $100 per one year, which is not cheap. But then if you want still fairly cheap scanner, let's say under $150, you want to have bidirectional scanner, but you want to do ECU coding and you don't want to pay subscription, you might want to buy one brand scanner. Okay, so they are called one brand because they work only on one brand or one group of brands, but they will give you all that professional functionality for a cheap price. This is about $140. It is for Toyota Lexus. You have service resets. You can connect to all modules. You can even do used car report, PDF. So all of that professional functionality, no subscription, low price, but it works for only one brand or one group of brands. Actually for every of these launch scanners you have multiple brands. So like Toyota Lexus or you have VAG that supports even seven brands. Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, Seat, Bentley, Lamborghini. So these are pretty good deal. But then if you want to have that professional functionality, but this time for all car brands, you will have to go with scan tool. And there are a lot of different scan tools, but they are getting cheaper. I got this one for 320 euro. It works for more than 100 brands and all functionality, including ECU coding. So they are not that expensive anymore. If you deal with a lot of car brands, I suggest getting one of these. They are very good value for money spent. And then also they are easy to sell. So once you decide to upgrade, for example, I paid 320. After a year or two, I can still sell it for 200, 250. So I will not lose much. And then I can throw in maybe extra 200 and I can buy new tool for 450. The next type are laptop scanners. So how that works, you usually are not buying them with laptop. You use your own laptop and then you buy a cable and software to go with it. And these laptop scanners are mostly used for certain specific software clone. So there are a lot of OEM softwares, like you can buy a cable that will give you OEM software for Toyota Lexus, or this VAC can pro also some AliExpress clone of software for VAC cars that costs about 500 OEM, but on AliExpress you can buy their version for about $30. But mostly they are for specific software like each cable is for certain brand or certain software. But you can even get some of these multi-brands that will work for different brands. Like this Delphi, this is about $40-$50 dollars and it works for a lot of car brands and gives professional functionality. With laptop scanner you are usually getting a lot of features, probably the most features for amount you will pay. And even features you will not find in any of these tools. For example, with this iProc clone, about $60 on AliExpress. And this tool is able to disable immobilizer, do mileage correction, or reset your airbag control module after crash. But it is not that simple. It is also limited by which car you work on. And then if you are able to connect, like it is very hard to use tools like this. Because not only it will not work for any car, since these are some clones of software, installation is complicated and you need separate laptop because anytime you try to install one of these you have to disable antivirus otherwise it will not work for most of this will not work so if you are disabling antivirus and a lot of the time you get warning about these files actually containing virus but i still allow it and it works but i just don't want to risk that on my main laptop so i had to get separate laptop for about 200 dollars and then last type are specific tools. So usually they do two things. First, they act like engine code reader, but then also they can do one specific piece of functionality. For example, this is Mukart TPMS tool. It works same like engine code reader. It can do global OBD modes, but then also it can be used to service your TPMS system. So if you don't know your TPMS, tire pressure monitoring system, if you have TPMS sensor in every wheel, all of these sensors have unique number. And these numbers are written in your TPMS control module. 
So if you change your wheels, you can adjust this, otherwise TPMS system will not work. And for that you can use this tool, just put it close to wheel and you will find that sensor ID and you can write it in your TPMS system. Or then this is Ansel code reader but it also works as battery tester. So you can test your battery, test your alternator, so not only use it like code reader but also test your charging system. And there are some more of these, for example you have key programmer, also works as code reader but also can program your keys and works with immobilizer. So these are specific tools. And for every type there are some tools that are better than other ones. So if you want to know which one are best value to buy for every type I have list on my website and link is in description.